Hey everybody, just thought I'd give you a quick one to two minute lecture on expertise, which is something I'm quite passionate about, and also it's part of this week's uh, topic about racism. But in order to do so, I'm going to get out of the way, so at least you can uh, absorb the view of beautiful Wallaroo, South Australia, where we are cooped up and hunkered down. So, people come to us with a belief that we hold some sort of expertise. Uh, and of course, this uh, is uh, based on the context in which different people arrive. But expertise can be judged in many different forms. For instance, practitioners can judge their own expertise. For example, my background in solution-focused therapy means my expertise is in having useful conversations and asking questions that may unlock solutions to help clients arrive to their desired future. Additionally, I've worked a lot with adolescents, so parents might believe that I have an expertise in engaging young people who may not necessarily believe in the effectiveness of social work and human services. But other practitioners may hold expertise in facilitating mindfulness exercises, case management, uh, working with the homeless or crisis uh, situations. And so there's many different ways to judge our expertise. While some human service workers hold relevant qualifications, some of our clients might not believe that qualifications are important for expertise, especially those who have experienced institutional racism. Instead, they might judge our expertise by our ability to tailor our services to the client's preferences, cultural background, and desired outcome. In this case, the effectiveness of our services as perceived by the clients we work with is a very important aspect of expertise. That said, I hope you all are well and that your families are healthy. Have a great day.